Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Today is video number 100 and I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers and also to Brian over at Awesome Open Source who has been an inspiration in the creation of his channel and has also given me motivation to continue on this path. So today we want to talk about the real reason to use LexD. So full virtualization means installing and running a full OS, device drivers, storage, and fully emulated hardware as is in the case of VirtualBox, VMware, Hyper-V, KVM, or Zen. OS virtualization means that the host OS kernel allows multiple isolated user space instances called containers to run as is in the case of LexC, LexD, and Docker. Docker was originally based on Linux containers but is now an application developed in the Go language and Docker is really application virtualization. LexD provides a client-server architecture to host a full operating system feel, but with a CLI interface that supports network and remote management features. In my last two presentations, we saw that a small form factor PC costing just over $300 US could easily run eight LexD containers with almost no load on the system. There are many reasons to run LexD. So LexD is super lightweight. LexD containers deploy pre-built images and do not require an operating system installation process. LexD containers are deployed with a single command line. And an example of that in the simplest form is LexC launch Ubuntu colon 2004 test. Now, of course, you have to provide some other parameters as well, but it really is just as simple as that. And a LexD container runs init, systemd, cron, and many other components of a normal Linux operating system. So LexD containers share the operating system kernel from the host, and so memory consumption is normally only for the application that is running inside of the container. LexD storage pools can be any number of backends, including ZFS, LVM, BTRFZF, or Ceph. And the LexD networking can control device names, MAC addresses, bridges, and VLANs easily from the CLI. LexD can mount data from host file systems also. And LexD can proxy data from the container to the outside network without exposing the container IP. And everything you see here on this page we've covered on the channel before, but We've got probably, I'm guessing, 25 LexD videos so far that go over all these issues. Or features, really. So, you can allocate a cap on memory and CPU resources for each LexD container. And when you do that, you're not really saying how much of the CPU it will use and how much memory it will use. You're just saying, it's a cap and don't use any more than that value. You can access a container without SSH if required with the Lexi exec and then the name of the container and then the Bosch shell. And LexD supports device pass-through from the host such as USB, block devices, and even GPUs. And LexD has an import-export feature for backup and migration of containers, and we covered that recently on the channel as well. And LexD has snapshot management for point-in-time imaging. And LexD supports publishing images, which can be used as templates or starting points for other LexD containers. What's the use case for home labs? Well, if you create a LexD container to test an application, 
without affecting your host installation. That's a good thing. You can try dangerous things, temporary configurations, and since it only takes about five seconds to launch a LexD image, that makes it really easy. So you can create a LexD container as an isolated environment that can be even on an isolated network or even have no network at all if desired. And you can create a LexD container to run either a newer OS for testing or a legacy OS for supporting an older application. And LexD containers have a much faster spin-up time, as we mentioned earlier here, that uses fewer resources than a virtual machine. And a LexD container can even support a full desktop GUI if you want. You can do a sudo apt install ubuntu-desktop to a LexD container and you'd be adding a desktop. Or you could do a sudo apt install kde-plasma-desktop and you would have the KDE Plasma Desktop. So in summary, I have many tutorials on the channel that focus on the features and uses for LexD. LexD is extremely efficient and very rapid to deploy. And the LexD command line, LexC, is easy to learn and highly flexible. LexD can be managed over a network easily with programs like LexDware, LexD Dashboard, which I've featured on the channel before. Try LexD and see how powerful it really is. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like the channel. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell. And again, thank you to all my subscribers. And I'm looking forward to the next year.